now I'm playing a game I like to call. Are you in the right spot? <laughs> Only took me four tries. At some point I'm gonna get a backup camera. But until then. where we're uh, gonna be grinding and I'm gonna get the key but the spot where the key is at is right beside them and they got somebody yesterday and I thought that they had sprayed already so Hopefully we won't get tore up this morning. All right, we got inside without incident. And uh, hopefully we'll get back out the same way. Let's see here. We're gonna find a spot to Park, and I'll show y'all what we're dealing with here whenever um, I get the truck and trailer swung around just trying to get everything situated now so I ain't got to do it when we get back in ready to leave but pretty cool place where we're working at today uh, pretty cool people that reached out to us to do this job and hopefully if we do a good job we'll get um, a lot more business from this one of the uh, last couple of videos I've been telling y'all giving y'all tips on like our inside information on uh, like money and stuff and costs one good thing that will help you that I have learned that was very hard for me but luckily um, I ran into some good people early on, but one of the things that was hard for me just because of my personality is uh, networking, right? So networking with people in your community and even outside of your community. Uh, let's get rid of this. Put that there. Breakfast of champions. We'll eat that in a second. But one thing that will help y'all and that has made me a lot of money is networking um, not only with people in your community but also with people on social media so if they're if it, like so if you were to get into stump grinding the first thing i would tell you to do which is what i did start watching youtube videos on like how the things work and uh join facebook groups right so, I, I, whenever I started getting an idea for this, I joined all the groups that I could find, some specifically for my machine uh, or for uh, the brand. So, like, I'm in a Bandit uh, stump grinding group. I'm in a stump grinding, just an overall stump grinding group. I'm in trailer rental groups, just uh, stuff like that. And before that, when I was uh, operating dozers, I would, or I was in heavy equipment groups, right? And I've actually met, and this was probably three, ooh, probably two or three years ago, it was before I quit shift work when I was still operating machines, I joined uh, these groups and I actually met people here in Alabama that were doing heavy equipment stuff, had their own business, and I've become friends with them. And, uh, I've talked with them on the phone several times. I text them questions, you know, they've just been a great resource. So networking, even outside of your, uh, your area would be uh, a benefit. But back to this job, I got this job and I've gotten several other jobs by meeting and working with one contractor, right? And uh, the Do More Outdoors contractor. Uh, Y'all seen Parker on my channel a couple of times. 
uh, finally uh, meeting with him and he started using my trailer and stuff. And then from him, from us working together, I've gotten several stump jobs and he's used my trailer a pretty good bit. So <clears throat> networking is just important. You know, um, I was scheduled to meet a, a guy that I've never met in person yesterday from uh, Montgomery and uh which is a little outside my service area but he's been encouraging me to come over there and he's a big contractor and we were going to meet and talk and uh, just see if we could start doing doing jobs together right so just stuff like that networking with people and uh, yeah i mean your, your name's going to get out there and from me working with a single contractor i've gotten several jobs several sump grinding jobs several uh trailer rental jobs and my customer today is actually the local historical society which is super cool because that is its own network of people right um we have a strong historic uh presence i guess you could say uh, where I live um, lots of history here so there is a there, there's a big presence for the uh, the historical society and I'm hoping to do more business with this customer if I do a good job today and they're happy with the work which I always try to do the best or I always do the best that I can and um, I haven't had no complaints yet to to my knowledge um, a customer has not shared with me they were unhappy so the, the enough of that this is the job that we are doing and it is next to a historical kiln charcoal kiln here and the the site that we are on is Keenan's mill and the uh, director walked me around yesterday and was telling me all about this place and the actual mill is over there you're not gonna be able to see it through the woods but there's a creek right here well i can go ahead and show you the creek i'll show you real quick it's just a little walk over here but the uh the director was show, uh, telling me and showing me all about the meal uh how old it was and that it was like in operation i think she said until like the 1960s so super cool a lot of history here and i'm just really really happy that we were called to do this job because there is plenty of potential in the future for us to be working with them and i would be happy to do so very happy to do so so here's the uh the cool uh rope bridge you, they just uh, redid this it used to be really sketchy <laughs> but that, that's the old mill uh there's the uh that's probably got a specific name spillway maybe oh. but this is where the farmers would bring all of their grain to have it ground up how cool was that and it was in operation i want to say she said until the 1960s and there's a few more structures back here, but um, well, we're not gonna <laughs> tour the whole site, but thought it was cool. And we are really happy to be working here. And like I said, there's plenty of opportunity for us to be back. And since we are in, we are working now with the Historical Society, uh, there is a lot of business that we could potentially get in town where you know things have to be done a certain way um you know with historical sites and historical homes there's just a little more attention to detail that you have to do and i was uh, telling the director i think my machine would do really well with that and tight sp spaces around these old homes and stuff so we'll see show you the stumps that we're working with rambled on here now then we got to do a little bitty thing and 
So this would be number three if I didn't just do that one. Uh, that one would have been number three. Number four. And this is the biggest one right here. And they are going to put a nice little walkway and somebody's going to come in here and grade this out or parker is from do more outdoors he's going to grade this out to where water does not collect at the bottom that it just uh, drains off so we are going to grease up the machine i've already fueled it up and man this little bandit man it drinks drinks the gas it is it is a gas machine and it absolutely guzzles it but we got it uh gassed up i'm going to slap a new air filter in it just because felt like doing it it was sitting around wanted to put the air filter in there so we're going to do that um shouldn't have to put new teeth in it but we are going to grease everything up and we should be out of here in no time so i'll get some shots of that for y'all and uh call it that Go put this up before I lose it again. Guess where I'm not gonna put it? On my tailgate. We are gonna put it right there. Hopefully, hopefully I will see that when I load the grinder and uh, I won't forget it. We will see. All right, we're gonna get started. Got four more to do for the historical society. We're gonna knock it out. Uh, there's timestamp 903. Let's see how long it takes. phone says four minutes and 50 seconds so we can just say five minutes and it gone not too bad not too bad alrighty on to the next
All right, one quick thing here. Y'all can see where I was grinding from this direction. And with, with oak or hardwood stumps specifically, that root system can get really wide. And this machine, uh, one of the drawbacks of this machine, it, it does not have a very, very wide swing. So in order for me to, um, for, my, for myself to be satisfied, it probably would have been okay. But for me to be satisfied and to know I did a good job, I actually moved on this side to make sure that I could get all of the flare of those roots. And I haven't hit nothing yet, but I'm sure I will in here somewhere. And I'm gonna continue across going this way just to make sure that I get everything. Um, I said a while ago that I haven't had a customer complain on me yet about the work. And this, this is part of it because I try to take extra time to do a complete job. So we're going to, uh, these were cut and stacked on the log when I got here. We'll move those out of the way. Don't want to hit anything loose like that because that will come back and hit you. Um, we're going to keep making our way across and then that will be the wrap and we'll be done. And I will bring y'all back when we get done. I'm probably going to fill in the holes. Uh, even though they are going to bring a little excavator in here and clean this up, I just want to make it look better uh, for when they do get here. They're going to mess it all up where, where I fill in at, but I just want to take a little extra time and mound it up, flatten it out a little bit before we leave. So I'll show you all, all that whenever we get done, but we're going to finish grinding this root flare out. y'all saw kind of what i was talking about there was um a higher root ball over here on this side and that's what i wanted to make sure that i got you can see how far across i came pretty much across the whole stump that was there and we got it wrapped up so this is it this is going to be the wrap i'm going to break all this up but i won't show you all that um i can't exactly remember when we started was it 9 30 905 maybe when we started i can't remember exactly but this is the wrap and i enjoyed doing it it was um really cool being able to work with uh the dallas county historical society and hope to be able to work with them again in the future As you can see there's a lot of trees around here um there's still a lot of stumps around here and as they clean up and uh work on this property uh I think they'll have me back out here. So that is the wrap. Uh, if you take anything away from this video, um, networking, like I said earlier, that's how I got this job. And now that I've done this for the historical society, I will most likely get more jobs if they're happy with my work, which I don't see why they wouldn't be, but you never know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, networking. If you're starting out, and if you even if you're not starting out, if you haven't done any type of networking before, reach out to contractors that are in your area. Join some groups on Facebook. Follow some people on Instagram, you know, and uh, get out there. Meet people. See what you can learn. Don't come into it as a know-it-all because you're not going to network very well with that kind of attitude. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to call it there, and we will see y'all on the next one y'all be good